what the next situation we got. We talking about Boosie. So Boosie says he was he was home from jail. He been home from jail for like twelve years now. Yeah. He said since he been home, he ain't missed the payment of child support. So he says that uh, he missed one day. He missed one day of child support. And like when he sent his, when he sent his kids back home or whatever. He sent him back home with money, and he paid child support. Mm-hmm. So he was like, he ain't never missed a payment in 12 years or so whatever. So he was like, um, he said he missed one day, and his uh, his he lady, one he, payment. yeah, he, he, she took him to uh, she took him to court, uh-huh. and the thing is, and and she married. So my, my my question to you, what's your what's your thoughts on that? He missed one day, he ain't never missed a payment. I think he said he was in Aruba, he was out of the country yeah. or something like that. He was late one day. What's my thoughts on that? Yeah, man, what's your thoughts listen, on that? Child support. Sheesh. Man, look, don't get me started because I'm on that shit for two kids. It's, it's like a crutch, bro. They, they use that shit against you. Real talk. Especially, it's supposed to be made for absent fathers. You feel me? Like, if they ain't got no parts of these kids' lives, ain't doing nothing for them, none of that. Okay, then I see that. Man, the good dads is getting bashed and, and drugged with this shit. And if you miss a payment, you know what I'm saying? Then suspend your license. How I'm supposed to make bread, you spend my license, you feel me? So as far as the boost situation, that's bullshit. Everybody know Boosie love all his kids, bro. He always giving them money, all that shit. That's just a <laughs> Excuse my language. Yeah, but that's just how it is. So like, how, how do you think child support should be? To take care of the kids. Like, but if you got a father that's there, you know what I'm saying, and doing for their kids, I don't think you should be on child support. Like, especially if the mama working, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody should be a team because shit, y'all came together and had the kids, you feel me? But other than that, like, half the time, females that's, that's got guys on child support, they don't work. So they using that bread for their benefits and not the kids. Mm-hmm. I'm damn sure example. So it's, it's like BS. Anybody know me, man? I love my kids. Should I be on child support? No, but it is what it is. But even with that, I'm still going to buy stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's, but they use that shit against you. As a man, when you first get that first, you been here, you probably hear about it a lot. But when you first get put on child support, what's that feeling? Because I'm pretty sure it probably done came suck, out of nowhere. Man. That suck. But then they give you options. It's like you, you can pay it on your own, you know what I'm saying, the monthly, or yeah. they take it out to a check. Man, look, you put in all that work and then get a BS check, you'd be like, God damn, but it's for your kids. But then let you let you be paying the child support out your check or whatever, whatever. And then you got these baby mamas that call you, be like, oh, your son need this, your daughter need this. You can pay it every month, don't you? Yeah. Oh, you ain't shit. Uh, well, take me off child support and let me do what I got to do. They ain't going to have that. <laughs> I swear to God. So, what are some of the obstacles you face as a father, you personally? Well, you gonna have my phone ringing after this. <laughs> <laughs> personally, man, like I said, I love all my kids. Of course, baby, sure. mama's optional. <laughs> uh, obstacles, man, it's just tough because you want to be there twenty four seven for your kids, and you can't. Y'all ain't in the same household, or y'all, some ain't even in the same state. Like, I got my son in North Carolina, my daughter in Texas, and I got a daughter here. Um, It just, it get hard, man, you feel me? But, like, you might go to call them, you can't get in touch with them, or if your baby mama mad at you for some reason, she won't answer the phone or change her phone number, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a number of things, man. It's, it's just crazy. So what advice do you have for, for young men and I guess older men too to stay out of these type of situations? I mean, really, you can't avoid them. Like, because who's to say that you gonna always be with the person you have a baby with? You know what I'm saying? Things happen, y'all split up. But don't let y'all messed up relationship affect your kids. I don't care what it is. I can't stand to see a father just dump out on his kids because he can't get along with his baby mama or she decided not to get along with him so he'd be like fuck them kids like nah like nah I, I can't do it 
if you did have any homeboys who did that, like how would how would you I can't react? fuck with you. You don't fuck with your kids, man. If you don't take care of your kids, I no. Because first I'm gonna check you. Like that's foul. But nah, I I can't fuck with somebody who don't fuck with their kids. Yes, sir. I can do. Because I didn't I didn't been through it all, man. Like I ain't gonna put all my business on here, but yes, yeah, nah, I can't do it. I can do it.